Welcome back to the Business Psychology Hub channel. In this video, we'll briefly introduce to you some of the key decision-making theorists whose work we'll review in this course. The following two videos will also introduce key economists and psychologists. For a bit of fun, and to ensure that the impact of the work of each decision-making theorist is fully appreciated, an association between each theorist and a modern-day rap star will be made. Before we go there, however, let's quickly review who qualifies as a business psychology researcher. A business psychology researcher contributes to our knowledge about how resources are exchanged, how organisations can improve performance, and how individuals can excel in the workplace, both in terms of personal performance and workplace satisfaction. So, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my favourite decision-making theorists and associating them with a rap star. To be clear, I'm not associating decision-making theorists with rap stars based on looks or based on how they express themselves in their work. I'll be making the associations based on two factors. Firstly, the broader impact of the scope of work of the decision-making theorist and the rap artist. And secondly, whether there's a connection between the rapper and the theoretical assumptions of the decision-making expert. Without a doubt, one of the most influential decision-making theorists for the field of business psychology is the polymath Herbert Simon. Herbert Simon is the founding father of artificial intelligence. He was a key contributor to psychology's cognitive revolution where today's mainstream assumptions were laid out, and he also won the Nobel Prize in economics. Herbert Simon highlighted that humans are not infinite calculators, but possess cognitive limitations. Examples of key business psychology relevant concepts he introduced include bounded rationality and satisficing. The term satisficing refers to choosing an option that satisfies minimum requirements rather than spending time and effort trying to find the optimal or best option. So profound are the concepts of bounded rationality that businesses and individuals in the workplace who do not accept the human limitations highlighted by Herbert Simon are likely to be less effective while the modern day psychological understanding of how people behave in the marketplace is based upon Herbert Simon's work. The rapper, whose work parallels Herbert Simon, is Grandmaster Flash. As far as impact goes, both Herbert Simon and Grandmaster Flash produced output decades ago that would still be classified as high quality today. Grandmaster Flash was also an innovator being credited for using record scratching as a style of music. Both Herbert Simon and Grandmaster Flash metaphorically planted the seeds that would later grow into styles widely used by others, that is, the bounded rationality paradigm and mainstream rap music. Grandmaster Flash's most famous song, The Message, articulates the pain of an individual who is not willing or unable to accept his life choices and therefore is not satisficing. The lyrics, don't push me cause I'm close to the edge highlight that the subject of the song has cognitive limitations and the stress expressed in the song suggests he is suffering from cognitive overload. Two of the great decision making researchers are the co-collaborators Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. The joint work of Kahneman and Tversky revolutionised the field of judgement and decision making. Daniel Kahneman is a psychologist who is also recognised as one of the founding fathers of behavioural economics, and he's also been awarded the Nobel Prize in economics. His co-collaborator, Amos Tversky, also would have been given the Nobel Prize if this prize could be posthumously awarded, but unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm drawing a parallel between Daniel Kahneman and Ice Cube, and I'm associating Amos Tversky with Dr. Dre. Ice Cube and Dr. Dre were also co-collaborators. Most modern day decision making research is based upon the concepts outlined by Kahneman and Tversky, while nearly all modern day rappers have been influenced by the lyrics of Ice Cube and the beats of Dr. Dre. Ice Cube and Dr. Dre burst onto the scene in the group NWA with a body of work focused on societal biases. Kahneman and Tversky burst onto the scene with a body of work outlining human biases such as the representative heuristic, the availability heuristic, anchoring and loss aversion. 
every organization and individual in the workplace would benefit from understanding the concepts outlined by Kahneman and Tversky. So profound and pervasive are these cognitive limitation concepts that the societal biases that fueled the art of Ice Cube and Dr. Dre were most likely due to people in society being unconsciously influenced by the human limitation concepts outlined by Kahneman and Tversky. That's the end of part one of this video. In part two of this video, you'll find out which decision-making theorist is associated with Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z, and 50 Cent. If you are interested in this business psychology course, then please subscribe to this channel.